Today, we're going to learn how to make tibok tibok. This recipe comes from our very own Kawaling Pinoy for the Maha Blanca Especial. Now, Maha Blancas and tibok tiboks are practically the same, except that tibok tiboks are made with rice flour and carabao's milk. So, if you want the authentic Pampangan taste, just substitute the cornstarch with rice flour and the coconut milk with the carabao's. You'll be needing one cup cornstarch, one can of 15 ounce sweet kernel corn drained, one can of 14 ounce condensed milk, one can of 12 ounce evaporated milk, and 3 fourth cups of sugar. Since we want to make more than one serving, we'll be doubling the recipe in today's video. If you're wondering how, just double the amount. The cream and the milk can be extracted from a grated coconut by pouring 2 cups of water in a pot, then putting the white shavings after. While they're getting to know each other, get a bunch of it and squeeze it into another container with a strainer. You'll be needing more than you think since we'll be making the latik from this as well. So in another container, squeeze a second batch of the stuff and set it aside. We'll be coming back to it later. Then gradually add in the cornstarch into the milk and mix until no lumps can be felt. After they've homogenized, add in the corn kernels. Adding the liquid that comes with the corn boosts the flavor of the tibok tibok. But if you'd rather not have it taste so strong, drain the kernels beforehand. Add in the evaporated milk, gleefully, I might add, we're not sponsored, as well as the condensed milk. Then mix it well. Once they've all been introduced, put it on medium heat and stir continuously until it slightly solidifies like smooth gelatin. In another pan, pour in the milk we've set aside and put it on to boil, stirring occasionally to discourage lumping. Heat it until the stuff turns light brown. The lumps that form underneath the oil will serve as our toppings for the tibok tibok. And there you have it, tibok tibok. Set it aside and let cool so you can properly store it in your containers. Before doing so, brush it with the oil that you have left over so that when you cut it, no sticking will happen. Since we'll be serving this at a later date, we've held off the coconut oil until then. When you're ready to serve, just brush the tops with the lustrous surface. That's it for today and thanks for watching.